family. Visits with those who live on the land and make agriculture Oregon's second largest industry. This visit is with David Sosi Jr. and his family. The Sosis live near the town of Cornelius in Oregon's Washington County. The farm is 20 miles from the city of Portland. There are 165 acres in cultivation on this farm, including orchard and pasture land. The family lives in the original farmhouse, which is now 70 years old. The Sosis have three boys. This is Paul, six years old. Dan, eight years old. And here comes Mrs. Sosi with Brian, who is four. And the head of the family, Dave Sosi himself. The Sosi started farming this place eight years ago. Jeanette Sosi was raised in the city. Dave grew up on a farm in the neighboring county. Both are graduates of Oregon State College. Farming is an endless cycle of planting, cultivating, irrigating, harvesting, and controlling insects and diseases. A chemical is being sprayed on strawberry plants to control a disease that causes the fruit to rot before it is picked. Dave Sosi designed this equipment from plans developed by the Department of Agriculture technicians shown here. The equipment sprays the chemical under as well as on top of the leaves. Even in the Willamette Valley, which receives better than 40 inches of rainfall a year, the strawberry crop is irrigated. Here, fertilizer is being applied. This field will be planted to fescue, an important pasture grass. The crop will be harvested as seed. And these calves are making good use of some 15 acres of pasture land. There are 40 head altogether. They'll put on weight during the summer and be sold as fat cattle in the fall. The Sosies have four acres of orchard an acre in prunes, and the rest in filbert trees. These are the prune trees. The Sosies plan to tear down this old house and build a modern home on the same site. They'll use the same site to take advantage of the trees and other plantings already in place. This old pump house is an ideal place for a modern freezer. Fruits, vegetables, and meat raised on the farm are frozen and stored here to feed the family. The Sosies have modernized the old farm kitchen. Seventy years ago, when the first meal was cooked in this kitchen, who would have guessed that someday the dishes would be washed automatically? Jeanette Sosi is an accomplished seamstress. This is her sewing corner. Here she makes her own clothes and clothes for the boys. During the school year, she teaches classes in sewing and tailoring. This is one of the home economics classrooms in the Forest Grove High School. This class is part of the adult education program. These women meet one evening a week. Farming is a business. If he's going to stay in business, the farmer must be a good manager, a good economist, as well as a tiller of the soil. Dave and Jeanette Sosi have this to say about their farm and farm home. Our crop program on this farm is primarily aimed at livestock and their feed and one specialty crop. 
In our case, we have chosen strawberries for now. Strawberries are uniquely adapted to this particular area. The climate and soil are uh, just what strawberries need. Washington County is the leading producer of strawberries in the world. So we grow strawberries. The other crops are uh, designed to go along with the livestock program. As a farm housewife or homemaker, my interests, of course, are centered here in the home with my children, the house, the yard. But more than that, my interests extend to the entire farm operation. David talks over with me all of the major decisions that are facing him. Uh, we decide what will be the best plans for now and in the future. Uh, really, we work together as a team. Of course, we have a general long-range program here as far as cropping procedures and plans. But each fall, we go through a complete uh, cost analysis, actually, of every crop that we might grow and the amount of crop that we might grow. Uh, Jeanette and I sit down and, and analyze the, the possibilities which we have, depending on the current market situation, depending on what land we have available for this particular year to plant, depending upon the livestock feed that we need, and possibly the amount of strawberries that we want to plant, strawberries being our primary money crop. In this little office, Dave keeps his records and pays his bills. Here he keeps a file of information on every crop he now grows or may grow someday. This is the file on his major crop, strawberries. More strawberries are grown in Washington County than any other Oregon County. In fact, the Willamette Valley is one of the two main strawberry producing areas in the nation. The only way to pick the crop is by hand. Harvesting is done by an army of boys and girls. Without these youngsters, there would be no harvest. Supervising the pickers in the field are responsible men and women who keep order and help the pickers. The Sosies employ two women each summer to work with the youngsters. And Dave himself is in the field all day supervising the harvest. Each adult, usually called a platoon leader, is responsible for 50 boys and girls. Many of these youngsters come back to the Sosie farm year after year to pick berries. They range in age from 12 to 16 years old. The platoon leader sees that the youngsters do a good job of picking and tells them where to pick. Dave provides the carts and boxes used by the pickers. Even Dan Sosi makes extra money picking berries each summer. Older boys who have worked as pickers are promoted to the important job of checking in the berries. When the picker has filled the crate with berries, the crate is picked up by the checker. Each picker has a ticket. This girl's ticket is punched to record how much she picked. She will turn in her ticket and be paid accordingly. The crates are moved to the edge of the field. Other boys come along with the truck, load the berries, and take them into the processing plant.
The pickers start work at six in the morning. The berries stay fresh longer when picked in the coolest part of the day. About 10 o'clock, the pickers take a half hour off for lunch and pick again until 1.30 in the afternoon when it's time to go home. The berries are ready to pick early in June. The picking season lasts about six weeks. Yes, farming is a business. It's a business that involves the family as much or more than any other business in our economy today. The story of Oregon agriculture is the story of people, of farm families.